All right, guys, did you have a chance to look at those questions? We are going to work on questions five and six. Just kidding. We're going to work on questions three and four on pages 408 and 409. Okay, so let's look at question number three, cause and effect. Underline the cause of electricity being changed into light in a filament. This is going to come from that little paragraph just above it. So read where it says a filament is a thin coiled wire that can get very hot without melting. And as the electricity passes through that and it gets really hot, it's going to light up, right? We read on the next page that sometimes it turns red. That's what gives us our light. And the filament is a strong resistor. The filament becomes so hot that it glows, giving off light. So what I want you to underline is where it says the filament is a strong resistor. Go ahead and underline that part. And then where it says the filament becomes so hot that it glows, also giving off light. We're going to underline that part as well. Alrighty. And now let's look at number four on page 409. And I want you to notice that bold red word that says infer. Do you guys know what that means? Do you remember? Infer means that it's not going to come word for word from the book. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take all the information that you've learned in this lesson so far, and you're going to have to put it together to come up with your answer. Okay, it's not going to just be in there for us to find. We'll have to think about it a little bit. So infer. Many hair dryers use heating coils as resistors. Explain why. So I want you to think about what we know about resistors and think about what we know about heat. So if we're using our hair dryer and it's it's getting hot, it's helping get that moisture out of our hair, right? Get the water out of our hair. So the answer for this one is going to be the coils become hot to help dry the hair. Pretty simple, right? You guys can explain that. All right. And now there's going to be homework. There's always homework, right? Mean old Mrs. Conklin. So your homework is going to be page 409, number five, and number six. Okay, but I'm going to help you out. So look at number five, where it says summarize. I promise it's in there. So if you're looking at mom and dad in a minute, you're saying, I can't find it. I promise it's in there. So look at page 408. And then on number six, we're going to have to use our thinker again. So this one's not going to come directly from the book. You're going to have to use what you know to give me an answer. All right. Um, you will turn in this assignment when we return to school. And Mrs. Law and Mrs. Conklin are also going to check your science books for the answers to questions number three, number four, and in your math box. So just get those finished. And don't forget to email Mrs. Law if you need any help. Bye, guys.